This is my first time with a great idea. I'm literally an upperclassman, you guys. It's <laughs> like, bye. Today was such a good day. We don't know where we're going. We're lost. It's 25 already. Good morning, vlog. I just love staying in town and just being by myself. Good morning, I have just started on my makeup. I put some sunscreen on and I put my primer and I'm now doing concealer, but I want to talk to you guys about finally being a junior, which means I am now an upperclassman. I also want to talk to you guys about my summer, how things went, where I was. If you guys didn't know, I was in Brazil all summer because I have family up there. Me and my mom and my brother are the only relatives that live outside of the country. Everyone else lives in Brazil. I just got off a plane less than 24 hours ago. I got off yesterday. I had to go school supplies shopping as well went to target they had nothing went to walmart i had to buy scraps of what people did not buy because there was barely anything left my theme was literally just like blue and black even though i wanted it to be pink i have one pink thing one pink thing in my entire backpack let's talk about my schedule so this year i have two classes with one of my really really good friends amanda and i have three classes with one of my other really good friends Haley. the rest i'm just gonna have to find out because i honestly don't even know i'm not checking properly i don't care i'm super unmotivated this year or anything school related usually i'm always on top you guys like usually every single first day of school i'm the first one up in the house i get up at 4 30 in the morning i go i take my shower i do this i do that i get my lunch ready and everything i don't even know if i'm gonna be able to eat breakfast if i'm gonna be honest with you because i'm running this late and the reason is like, i am obviously jet lagged but i'm also missing my family so much like i genuinely feel homesick because i stayed there for a whole two months two months 60 days because of that i feel like i got so used to living there and my life there that getting used to living here again is going to be a little bit hard and it's going to take me a while my classes this year for anyone who is wondering i have junior senior privs spanish for american literature u.s history 2 environmental earth and i think the last thing i have is algebra 2 that's my first semester and in replacement of my junior senior privs next semester i'm going to have yoga one as you guys know i do turn 17 in two months on october 29th i am 17 i am also going to start driving ed in early October because I can only get my license in mid-October so I was like I'm not gonna waste my time doing it in September to then have to go and forget everything I'm just gonna do everything together so I already got my permit that's been done I studied that on my own because I was like I'm not paying a thousand bucks for this guy to teach me things I can learn on my own I studied on my own past the first time thank you I'm not gonna make any promises because I am hoping and praying oh my gosh I just realized I never took my retainers out no wonder I'm literally talking like a weirdo and I have a lisp. I am thinking about getting my car, finally, obviously, because now that I have junior senior privs, I can leave the building instead of just staying in the library. I know it's been a while since I've checked in and this is not the best lighting and you're probably wondering what is this time jump? It was just sunny outside and now it's dark outside. I ended up taking a nap, you guys. I am so jet lagged from yesterday, but today was my first day of junior year and my final review is a five out of 10. Very mediocre, very basic, nothing exciting, nothing too boring. Tomorrow I do have two new classes that I didn't get to visit today. So I'll let you know if that number by chance gets bumped up. But tomorrow is my first day going to school at 9 a.m. because I have junior privs this year, which means I don't have to be in school. It's like a 
a basic free block and tomorrow is my first time having it in the morning which means I only have to go to school at 9 a.m. and I am so excited we're gonna have a slow morning it's gonna be easy I'm gonna get to sleep in and get rid of this jet lag and fatigue and for the past hour I have been editing my travel vlog I got a whole three hours of footage I'm gonna give myself a break from doing that and I'm gonna go into my Google slides and do some assignments that were actually given to me today they're only the basics make a slideshow about yourself all the basic information introduce yourself to the class type of thing those are easy I can get them done in three minutes and I'm gonna have to fold an entire bin of clothes that I actually ended up leaving here before I left for Brazil it's all clean clothes I just didn't get time to fold it before I left so we're gonna fold it put it away and find an outfit for tomorrow and then I will see you guys tomorrow morning we're gonna have a good rest of the week I just found my ID from last year it is all white and I wanted to show you guys the difference between my last year's ID and this year's ID my school does this specific thing where based on your status in school you get a specific color for your ID and I think that the underclassmen get white but this year I got my very first gray ID indicating that I am an upperclassman this is crazy this is insane I remember starting this YouTube channel halfway through my freshman year you guys and now look at where I am yes this is my picture from last year picture day is coming up soon i don't look good in this i'm gonna go all out this year for picture day but this is my first time with a great id this is crazy i'm literally an upperclassman you guys how insane is this look at that <gasps> yeah Stop. just got to school it's really sunny it's really nice out and i feel great because i had a really good morning and coming to school late is just awesome so great my first class this morning is u.s history so let's go I just left my house and I came to this open shopping mall because I am sick and tired of being stuck in my house. I just want to get out. I don't have any money on me. I didn't bring my wallet. All I brought was my computer and a cover up in case it gets cold because I might stop at like Starbucks right here and maybe do some work, but I'm just gonna walk around. I'm just gonna look at things because I feel like just being alone today. And I feel like it's so therapeutic to just like go to stores and just like walk around and look around and not buy anything because I don't wanna make a dent in the $5 I probably have in my bank account. <laughs> so I'm just gonna walk around and have some fun. It doesn't seem to be very busy here today. Parking lot is pretty empty, which is nice. I think the first place I'm gonna hit up is TJ Maxx because I love Marshalls, I love TJ Maxx and they have both of them here. School went really well today. I know that I told you guys I was gonna give you a review. Whoa, I just slapped myself with my keys, but today 
was definitely like a 9 out of 10. I'm telling you guys. Woke up late today. It was great. I didn't really wake up late. I woke up for school, but I had a late class. I had a late start. I had two new classes today. They were both amazing. They were great. Honestly, today was like a 9 out of 10. Only reason it's not a 10 out of 10 is because it's school. There's no way I'm giving school a 10 out of 10. But yeah, let's just go walk around these stores and look at a couple things because I just feel like being alone and I am. I get to just walk around all by myself and not worry about anything and not be stuck at home either. I feel like I'm very introverted on the weekdays and super extroverted on the weekends because the weekends I'm always looking to hang out with my friends and go places that are really loud like the city. But whenever it's like the weekdays, I just love staying in town and just being by myself and just doing this, just walking around and doing nothing, just being alone. I love it. One thing about me is I love everything that has to do with fall. I love fall season. I love fall decor. Every time I'm here, the first thing I look for is this fall decor. It literally smells like fall in here. It's amazing. Not even joking. I just went into TJ Maxx for five minutes. All I did was look at the fall decor. This entire parking lot just filled with like 200 cars. I swear there was nobody here just a second ago. And now almost every single parking space is taken up. There's no fun in this anymore. I'm going to Starbucks sitting down and doing some editing and schoolwork. Because there's no way that I'm staying in super crowded spaces when it's obviously a weekday and it's one of my introverted days. I'm not even joking, the man who handed me this has the whitest teeth I've ever seen. His skin is so clear, he has tattoos, he is so beautiful. I almost had to stop him and tell him, excuse me, do you know how gorgeous you are? You shouldn't even be working in a Starbucks, you should be working as a model, sir. This is the best pink drink I've ever had in my entire life. This is a brand new Starbucks that just opened. This is so good! Wow. guys today was such a good day i made a bunch of new friends i have to tell you guys the cutest story i'm in my spanish class me amanda and Haley sit next to a new guy and obviously we become friends and he is very talkative he's very loud he becomes friends with everyone like he's not afraid to say what's on his mind or to like call someone's attention we go to lunch and he sits with us at our table and there is this new student behind him he's from china and he turns around and he starts speaking to him. He's like, oh, where are you from? He's like, China. And he goes, ni hao. And he pulls out his phone and like goes on Google Translate and like asks him how long he's been in the US. He said he's only been here for a whole month. And he was FaceTiming his friends who were in China. And because of the time difference, it was nighttime for them and daytime for him. It was just the cutest thing ever. I got to say hi and bye to his friends. And it was so cute. I actually did end up crying a little bit because I just can't see things like that. He wasn't sitting by himself. He was sitting with a table of people but we were all hispanic so they were also using google translate which made me so sad for some type of reason because it was like oh my gosh like you are in a country where you don't know how to speak the language but then i also realized these people are all making an effort and so am i making an effort to be friends with him and use google translate to talk to him so then i stopped crying today was a really good day i Honestly, I'm really happy with how my schedule has been planned out with who I'm in with my classes because I'm not in a class with anyone who I don't like and let me tell you, I don't really not like people, you know, like I don't have anything against anyone so it doesn't matter to me. I'm friends with a bunch of people in all my classes. I have made a bunch of new friends already. Every day has been really good. First day of school was a little mediocre because I was very jet lagged but other than that, everything has been so great and now 
it's Friday and I have a long weekend ahead of me. So I have Saturday and Sunday. I also have Monday off because that's Labor Day. And then I have Tuesday off because they made it Professional Development Day or something like that. It's a day where the teachers go to the school and end up meeting together for a meeting. I have four days off. I have a couple things planned and some days where I have nothing planned. But this video goes until Wednesday because it's a full week of my junior year. So this video will end on Wednesday. But today I'm about to go make myself some noodles because I'm starving and I need to eat a full meal even though it's not very much of a healthy one it's something better than just what I brought to school because I only brought carrots ranch grapes and candy to school that's it so I have to eat a meal today I just wanted to tell you guys how well my day went today I'm so happy I'm making friends you guys this is crazy I have classes where I don't have friends in them I promise you I'm gonna become more extroverted like I said weekdays I'm very introverted on weekends I'm super extroverted but I'm gonna become more extroverted when I'm in school because I need to make new friends I will check in with you guys on Wednesday again and I'll let you know if I made new friends I'm giving myself a goal to make at least one new friend on Wednesday so we just got outside I did eat my noodles my mom just got back from a doctor's appointment with my brother and now we're about to go get our eyebrows done because we have a 4 p.m. appointment to get these things waxed because I have not done my eyebrows in two and a half months it has been way too long once I get back I do have some homework I have to do because can you believe that in my English class today I did my DCA and I have to read the whole first chapter of The Great Gatsby we are already starting on a book it's the third day i know we have a long weekend and i fully understand but like some people are doing their dca next week and i had to do mine today i already know this english teacher is gonna kill me this year but i'm not gonna let a little something ruin my good day so we're gonna continue the good day and go get these brows done It's 2.30 on a Saturday and I just woke up. Everyone's at home and nobody woke me up. I just wasted half of my day in bed and it's one of my extroverted days and I've just been inside my house doing nothing like an introvert. I'm leaving. Okay, I'm standing up. I'm gonna go take a shower. I'm gonna eat my breakfast and I'm going somewhere. I'm not staying stuck in this house today. It's not happening. No. Like, what? How did I even get to this point? Like, I'm not even that tired. Yeah, I'm staying in my house. Not happening today, no. Today is Sunday. I know that yesterday I told you guys that I was going to get ready and go out and I did. I fully decked myself out to go out. Me and my mom left the house but she just ended up running errands and we literally went nowhere and I was upset for the rest of the night which is why I didn't record anything else. But today is Sunday. I do have church in the morning right now so I'm going to change into this really cute Calvin Klein white blouse and I also have these light wash jeans from Garage and I'm just going to change into this outfit, probably put on some white sneakers to sandwich my outfit, but I have no idea what we're doing after church. I'm not gonna think too hard on it because obviously I wanna go out, but I don't wanna get myself upset like I did yesterday if we don't go out. So I'm not going to put too much pressure because if we don't go out, then I'll just have like an indoor day, like I'll watch a movie or something and not get super upset like I did last night. So let's get ready for church and stop thinking about what's gonna happen after church. I just went into Dollar Tree and I bought a birthday card because apparently we have a birthday party. So we're gonna go home, get out of heels because me and my mom are both wearing heels and then we're going to head to the party, which I'm so excited for because it's just a bunch of Brazilian food. a mess my hair looks like a mess my makeup looks like a mess i look like a mess and so does this room like do you see this oh my 
Ew! It's embarrassing to even look at. I have a suitcase on the floor. I haven't even finished unpacking it. I'm in the same outfit that I wore to the birthday party. I've been looking like a mess since the birthday party because I haven't done anything. Can you guys believe? Actually, no, it's very believable. I've been bed rotting ever since I got back. I haven't done anything. My room looks disgusting. I'm gonna make it a goal of mine to clean at least my desk because my mom and her husband went out to church today. They're coming back right now and they're bringing acai. So here's my goal. Clean up my entire desk, switch into my pajamas, put on a movie, eat my acai while I watch my movie for the rest of the night because tomorrow I don't have school because it's Labor Day. But tomorrow I am gonna be hanging out with my friends. We're gonna have a picnic. We've been keeping it an entire secret these past three days of everything that's been going on in school because we don't wanna tell each other until we go and have the picnic tomorrow. Let's get it moving because I'm actually like, I don't even know how I'm breathing right now. I'm sweating. guys look at it oh my gosh if you know me you know my favorite brazilian dessert is acai do i love brigadeiro do i love like other things yes but this honestly i don't think there's anything that beats this right here do you see how good that looks i don't even know if i have the patience to turn on a movie right now but i'm going to try before i devour that thing Monday. Today's Labor Day. It's actually 12:30. I just finished eating lunch and I'm about to start getting ready and change my outfit and do some very basic minimal makeup because as you guys know, like I told you yesterday, I'm going out with one of my best friends, Amanda, today for a picnic. Like I said, we have been keeping the first three days of junior year, everything that's happened, a complete secret so that we can find an excuse to hang out after school, like outside of school. And this is a perfect excuse. So I already did my hair. I just put it in a slip back ponytail because I don't want it in my face. And I'm going to go change into a different outfit, do some minimal makeup while I'm I call her so that we can figure everything out and I'll show you guys what I'm bringing to the picnic, the walk over there, and then the whole fun day together. No, you didn't. Question. Are we both doing cartwheel or just you can do any cartwheel? I'm gonna see if I can try and do one. Okay, okay ready? I'm gonna fail if I try to do one with you. Okay, wait. Um, I'm gonna not just wanna be Okay, go. Ready? This is gonna hurt. <laughs> <laughs> My birthday. <laughs> no. I was mid air and that hurt oh, so bad. My leg. This is no. Good morning, pineapple. Oh, sure, Fana. I don't think they can see you. <laughs> I thought you hit the tree. I can see it. Because <laughs> I had a dump and I was like, I, I didn't think I'd ever be able to make the Olympics. I would forget to go like this. Uh, I tried out for the Olympics once. I actually never actually what? tried out for the Olympics. Oh, I was gonna say I was like, I'd be imaginary Olympics when I was in elementary school and I didn't oh. make it. <laughs> so, you know how we're like both your favorite people? Sure, yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? I need your help with something really specific and you can't tell anybody ever. Okay. <laughs> wait, you can't film anymore! <laughs> Why did y'all see the- Oh, wait, wait, wait! No! <laughs> Shut up! Uh, why don't you come to mine? Come, come to mine. Oh, I come thought to Pedro- I thought Pedro hung up. Should I say come to my house? You're showing <laughs> I'm so stupid, Giovanna! <laughs> I think we should block him. I no, we're trying to hang up on me, Pedro. I am. I got, I got a friend over here right now. Oh, no, Pedro. Are you the friend, Pedro? <laughs> hear all of my conversation right now, Pedro? He's in the bathroom. He's oh, respectful. He's in the bathroom. See, oh, the bathroom. I love you, Pedro. <laughs> or whatever, his cousin, his friend. What if his cousin is cute? No, what if thank you. What if he's the, the, no, the thanks. No, North Carolina man? <laughs> he's grown. He's grown. He's grown. Yeah, he's That's grown. okay. Ciao, Pedro. Yeah, maybe you can get girlfriend advice from him. What? Yeah. 
Because I remember that. Because <laughs> yeah, like, Vine. Because you say, I got it on video. It just like, God. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Circle, circle. Grab the bag. Oh, yeah, this is this on, this on, this on. start eating my little dumplings i'm obviously gonna give you guys a rating but i do want to try this drink for the first time this is a poppy drink i've seen everyone talk about it on tiktok and let me tell you the advertisement is great because it's so freaking cute this one is strawberry lemon and i'm hoping that it's like strawberry lemonade probiotic it says it's a probiotic soda so it's literally just sparkling strawberry lemonade or pink lemonade or whatever it's called this is great this is actually really good, surprisingly. Okay, let's see if I can try one of these, see if they're not too hot. I think that this is just like soy sauce, but I've never tried dumplings with soy sauce. So this is a first for me, just because every time I buy it, it never comes with a sauce. This is different. This is not what I usually get. What are these? Did these read dumplings on them? I don't know what it read on it, but this is not what I usually get. The ones I get are more soupy. I think they're like soup dumplings. I don't know. It's not bad, but it's not as good as the other ones I usually get. So this is like a rating. I would give it like low-key, like a 5 out of 10. And the drink is a solid like 8 out of 10. It's pretty good. But I'm going to see if I can eat all six of these before I get really annoyed by the flavor. <laughs> yeah, it's mid, but it'll fill me up. It's fine. I ate two and a half and I got annoyed by the taste and it started to get disgusting. So now it's like a three out of 10. I want my soup dumplings back. I don't like these. These are a rip off. Don't buy them. They're disgusting. Sorry for anyone who likes them. I just, just not my thing. I don't want to yuck anybody's yum, but this is definitely not my yum. This is my yuck. I do want to say the food was not wasted. I just gave my mom the plate and she ended up eating all three and a half of them in front of me in five seconds. She loved it. There's six more in the fridge. So don't worry. Those are also not gonna go to waste she's definitely gonna eat them she liked it but the ones that i bought i just remembered are from dollar tree so i told my mom next time we go to dollar tree i'm getting 10 of them because whatever that was was not my dumplings those were not the ones that i like so i'm just sitting here drinking some strawberry lemon poppy because this thing is actually pretty good i got a different flavor too i got raspberry something so i'm gonna bring that to school and then i'm gonna try it on wednesday and i'll give you guys a review but for now my day is over so thanks for following me today can't wait to see you tomorrow I woke up this morning, I did my hair, finger coiled it so it's gonna look great for tomorrow. I also applied for a job, which I know is kind of out of the blue and cray, but yeah, I applied for a job. I made myself some lunch, which was just some noodles, and I just watched the pilot episode, the first episode of Brooklyn Nine-Nine, and I think I might have just fallen in love with the show. Right now, I do have to do some homework before I forget because my mom is gonna be home soon, and I do really wanna try and convince her to take me somewhere because to me, it's a weekday, but it's also a weekend because I don't have school, so I I feel very extroverted and I feel like it's time for me to go out and do something and it's sunny outside it looks so nice outside I really want to get out and do something because I know that tomorrow I have school so tomorrow everyone's gonna be tired and exhausted and I'm not gonna want to go out so I want to do something today but before I do that I have to complete my homework or else I'm not letting myself walk out of this house my homework for today is read the first chapter of the great Gatsby I think that I am currently on 
Oh, I didn't even realize I got this far into the book. I got pretty far. I'm on page eight and the chapter ends on page 21. I have a couple pages left of The Great Gatsby, the first chapter to read, and I also have a quick delta math that I have to do for my algebra class. I'm gonna do that super quickly because it's literally, I honestly think it's only like three, maybe four questions, which I can answer super quickly. And then I'm gonna read The Great Gatsby, and then we're gonna end up seeing what I do with the rest of my day, and I know I keep saying that, but I just don't have a game plan. <gasps> oh, what is that? What is that? What is that? Did you see that? Oh lord, please don't let it be something that flies. But I'm gonna have to crush it. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's under the pink thing. <laughs> Where did that come from? Stop, I'm gonna stop looking around my room before I like see something else and I panic. I'm gonna do my homework. <gasps> morning vlog the sun is shining today is the last day of the vlog i have a really cute outfit on i have my blue adidas this blue shirt that matches and some what are these called jorts and i put on some different jewelry today you can't see my necklace there it is it's 705 i start school at 725 can't be late. I can't be late. I just got to school. I am walking to the front door so that I can make it to homeroom on time. My outfit is really cute today. I really like it because I have some extra jewelry. My first class today I have with two of my friends. I think the last class of the day we also have another class while we're together. And my second period, I have free period. So I think me and Haley are going to go to Duncan. But yeah. Wait, stop. <laughs> And you didn't go to class? No. Oh. oh what well, well, have to meet? We don't know where we're going. We're turning we're on Water Street. Late. We're lost. It's 25 already. I can't even breathe properly because we're running. <laughs> but we took the wrong turn somewhere and now we're lost. Please, I'm gonna hitchhike. <laughs> okay, this is Copland Road. We need to turn on Water Street. <laughs> where the hell are we? Because I never walked past here to go to junk. I'm never coming back through the forest. No, I promise you I know how to get back from the forest. I know how to get back from the front. Who long? This is longer, Haley. It's taken 25 minutes to get here, and we're not even there yet. Where the hell did we end up, babe? We're walking, and it literally says we're 23 minutes away after you said we were 17. We're lost, we're sweaty. We're about to go under the bridge. We don't even know where we're at. We literally need to turn around. Where are you? We need to turn around and we need to go back. Like, those are our two options. Me and Jovan are lost. <laughs> If we turn back, we're gonna have another 30 minutes walking. We're never gonna get Duncan because we're not gonna make it. We have 23 minutes to get to school and we're gonna get to school a minute before our classes start. Change, Haley's mom's coming to pick us up because we got so mega lost we're on. We don't even actually know where we're at, Indian Head Road. And I've never in my life even been on this side of my city. No, say on Chicago, you know, I have no idea where I'm going. The hell we are, look at where we are, Haley. Dude, I know that sign that you swear what? Zilove! Natick yeah. is right there! Natick is this is literally Natick, Haley! Little free library! Oh my gosh, there's a little free library. Let's take a look. Why not me, the host, Midnight Sun? We're on back roads right now, show for the look. Look at him. I'm telling you, Haley, we're not somewhere where we're supposed to be. If this GPS is throwing us the wrong way and I'm sweating dick and balls right now. I actually have to take my freaking sweat off. My mom. Your mom's gonna be so mad at us. Boy, our GPS is throwing us the wrong way. What a great way to start the week. It's in South Birmingham. Oh. Oh, we're far from Ashland. There's no good books in the little free library to cheer me up either. Damn it. Don't quiet the minutes, nice No. I feel like it would be smart. Yeah, we're gonna get to school. On time too. No, Shane, this is the old This was the road that we came out of. That was the, yeah. See, it was this way, Shofana. It was this way. I told you, and we were like, the GPS is out. This was the road to go back to school to Giovanna. We made it to the school after getting lost, and Haley's mom had to drive us. We literally made it right on time. We are so like, oh, this is terrible. We're never doing this again. We, we actually, if we ever do this again, we're only going through the front. We're not going through the back. I'm not no, even coming back through the know, back. You know I'm not wrong. You saw that second one. No, I did. That's okay. <laughs> we should have followed that thing. Always turn right. Always, oh, always turn right. Always turn right. 
We're never forgetting. Oh, at least we made it. Thank God. I watched some Outer Banks. I did my homework. I just changed into these cute black biker shorts and me and Amanda just made last minute plans to go out to the mall. Her mom is going to come by and pick me up very soon and we're going to go to the mall and spend some time together and that's just going to be the rest of my day because I have nothing else planned. I have nothing else to do. So I'm excited. I love hanging out with my friends. So I'm going to take you guys along with me, obviously, of course. This is going to be the last little bit of this vlog, which is crazy and insane because the vlog is almost over. Yes, sir, it's right behind you. I guess how perfect the title of your room is. Each room has a title. Porn <laughs> I will. I'll put it on each room. Yeah. It is very. What are the other? Oh, it's just you. You're, you would be that one. Oh, you're, thank you. Yes. Yeah. 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 I've never been to level 99 and I don't really want to go. Me either. Well, so it's really good. Because yeah. it's like, a, like an escape room, sort of. I don't know. I'm scared I'm going to never escape. They say it's an escape room, but it's kind of like an obstacle course room. I know. That's the point. What if I can't reach? Well, I could help you. Okay. Like, the whole thing is like you have to have a team. Okay. I'm still really shocked about whoever flung me across the hallway. No, yeah. That was crazy. Like, who's going to beat him up for me? I don't want to talk about it. My teeth hurt. Oh, he has a nice door. Man. Yeah. Oh yeah, I saw it before. I was gonna say something, but I was like, no, that's weird. That's again. <laughs> we, we, guys, we actually saw the girl's butt, and it was humongous, and I was like, we we're at Macy's, and she was like, she, she let us look. She was she like leaned up on it. She was like arching up, I was like, him, like I'm no better than man. She, she let us look. She was wearing tight leggings, and they were green. But I'm just saying, like, if you're gonna wear colorful leggings, don't expect people not to look in your butt. I look even if you're not wearing colorful, because I'm no better than a man. Same. My teeth are starting so good. Don't find your pume, you so. I mean, your, your, your viewers, if you put any of this in, they're gonna have a compilation and be just like freaking out. We're <laughs> just going insane. Can I tell you something? Mm. I need a fart. <laughs> I'm just gonna put that out there for everyone. Not for them. I'm a forever bird Oh my god, that's literally us in like 30 years. Where? We're matching. You see them? No. Right here. Those men. Oh, the men. I thought we were looking at old grandmas. No, no, no. I was looking at the old men. Oh. Okay, ready, guys? Ready? Yes. Ready? Ooh, that was good. That was crispy. Mmm. That was Girl. good. It's good? You just show my brother that one. I'm going to take it in my hand. We're leaving the mall. I'm going to go her sweatpants. We got food. She got a Mountain Dew. And now we're going back home. Oh, yeah. High five. Oh, damn it. Sorry, it's okay, they heard it. That's it, you guys. That's the end of the vlog. A whole seven days you guys spent with me an entire week my whole first week of junior year this week was crazy absolutely insane today i would rate it like a nine out of ten so we're just gonna end this vlog here comment this emoji if you made it until the end so that i know that you're a real one and even if you didn't make it until the end and you somehow skipped to the end it's okay because i still love you make sure that you guys like comment subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you guys don't miss new videos but today was insane i also didn't meet my goal of making a new friend but that's okay because i feel like the experience of getting lost a 40 minute walk away from 
from my school today sort of balanced out the fact that I didn't make a friend today. So I think I think I'll be fine. But I will continue to try making new friends because that's my goal this school year. Make new friends, pass, and obviously every other goal you could have for school. So thank you again so much. I know I keep saying it, but that's it. The vlog is over. Bye!